Hello everyone, I'm so happy and excited to share with you my first project and video tutorial as Graphic45 Grand Ambassador. I'm going to use this uh, collection, the Botanical Tea, I think it reflects my personality. And I select the polka dot uh, paper as my paper base and here is the photo that is already with 3D font tapes on the back. And this uh, tag is from the from the here from the Ivory Tag album by Graphic Forty Five. But first, let me show you the papers. I'm going to cut uh, some images from like the butterflies, the flowers, and the leaves from these two paper. Here is the uh, the ink, the color uh, box by Graphic Forty Five, and I'm distressing. Uh, ink all the borders of the tag and also the borders of the photo. The good thing about this ink by Graphic 45 is that they have exactly the colors of the papers and it gives this vintage look to your project. Once I have the photo ready, I'm going to prepare now the uh, paper and I'm priming the paper with white gesso. I apply the gesso with a brush in an oval shape around the tag because in this oval shape is that I'm going to uh, give the textures in a minute. Once I have the oval shape, I will let it dry and now I'm going to give the texture with a stencil and modeling paste. It, it creates like a the modeling page gives a, a dimensional textures that we, it will enhance all the uh, the work that I want to create around the photo. Once I apply uh, all these textures, I'm going uh, I add uh, enough uh, textures in both corners. But in the rest, I would only add a little of texture just to give the touch. Now I will, I take the ink again, but this time I press the pad over my acrylic block. And now I uh, add water. I will mix uh, the ink with water to give color to all these textures. I started with a light coat of the blue but once I am sure that I like how it looks, I will uh, start to build in uh, layers to intensify the tone of color. Now I change the brush uh, to make this step uh, faster. And you can see how nice uh, looks all the textures with the ink. I will uh, continue repeat the same step uh, to create more uh, of the mix and to paint the rest and once I apply the first layer you will see that I will uh, give a second layer to intensify the color. I dry everything with my heat tool and now I add white paint splatter over all these textures. I love to create uh, different layers of colors on the background. N now that everything is dry, I will adhere, uh, I'm adhering the tag, my photo to the paper and I take all the die cuts, all the flower images that I cut from the papers and I add 3D foam tape on the back of these pieces, it creates the dimension effect uh, uh, on the page, a more realistic uh, look on, on my project. Thank you. 
I cut a piece of white cord a jute, and put through the tag it gives a lovely touch on the page and I will do the same to the chipboard that is my title this chipboard is from the same collection and I also uh, put the cord around uh, through the hole and now I will create layers on the background uh, in my composition but first I'm going to start at hidden the different pieces I will add first uh, the flowers here between the photo and the tag and then uh, in the background I will add a piece of cheese cloth it will create like layers like in the cake that you put the layer the glaze and well the same and now the shoe board you will see that it will like a like you see here all the dimension and the reality that it gives when you add uh, first uh, the fabric then the images uh, with the 3d foam tape and the shipboard it will give a nice uh, look to the page with all these layers and it's important uh, uh, to uh, give dimension between them with 3d foam tape or any that you have you can use a uh, a glue dot any that you have but it's important to create the layers uh, and the dimension between one layer and the other now that i add here all the uh, elements uh, all my images and my composition is ready i will add more texture and i'm adding uh, art stone with gel medium over all the stencil work and behind uh, the flowers and the leaves I love pearls and I can live without add some pearls on my project so I'm adding with hot glue some pearls here and there to give this feminine touch to my page now my final my final step is other layer of white paint splatter i cover very well the photo and apply all these splatters over all the images over all the area it creates this whitish uh, chavy effect that i love here is the final result let me show you now the closer details you can see here all the uh, fuzzy coating the whitish effect with the white uh, splatters the pearls and it is my first video tutorial for graphic 45 i hope that you find some inspiration you can see how easy it is to work with these beautiful papers here i will let you two more uh, videos uh, using graphic 45